Meta's new personal data harvesting tool is now live. It's called Threads, or Threats to Democracy if you believe in free speech. So if Mark Zuckerberg is gonna scrape our personal data, then we should be able to scrape his. So I wasn't sure if we'd be able to scrape Threads or not because their website is just this crappy landing page. They really want you to download their app so they have access to your personal health data, financials, employment information, as well as physical location at all times. Apparently I'm not the only person not fond of this policy, 3.9 out of five stars. Anyway, the good news is if we go to Google and type in site colon threads.net, we can add any search term we want, like put in a username of someone you want to scrape the threads of, like Zuckerberg, and you'll see, just like Instagram, there are these publicly accessible pages with anyone's threads. You don't have to have the spyware app installed in your phone. And if you know someone's username on threads or Instagram, you can just plop it in here and see what shows up. It takes forever to load. I guess the Twitter engineers he stole to build this clone were not very good at their job since it takes forever. Anyway, once it finally loads, you can see all his personal data he hosts publicly on this page, and it's up for scraping as well. You can also scrape the replies. It looks like he's promoting this non-alcoholic beer. Talk about never trusting anyone who doesn't drink. I mean, geez, what a lame guy this person is. You may be able to scrape the followers. I have no idea. It looks like you need to be logged in to see them, so I refuse to install this app, so I guess I'll never know. Anyway, to scrape the public data, right-click on the page and hit Inspect. We can open up Developer Tools and click on the Network tab. Now reload the page while we're recording the web traffic so we can see exactly how he's loading the data into our browser. Again, it takes forever to load, so it's not hard to spot which request is doing the work. This one here that's pending. So once it finally loads, we can go up and click on it and see the exact network request. Now, I can't legally promote anyone go and re-access this endpoint outside of the official client, but if you do that, that's your own business and I want nothing to do with it. What I can show you, however, is that the data returned here basically is just a big JSON blob and it shows you each item here with the thread. The most interesting part is just gonna be the actual text of the thread. Uh, there's a little bit of metadata, like when it was created, number of replies, etc. So we can see the text here of Mark Zuckerberg's thread. We can see some of these posts, like this one contain images. So this is really just Instagram 2.0, just with more spyware installed on your phone. Anyway, if you wanna scrape the images, you can copy this URL and get a nice close up. Oh God. So you only get about 10 of these per page. I don't see any pagination options, but again, this may change if you're logged in. Anyway, if we wanna get this into a spreadsheet, we can export the HAR file, then import it into this tool here, link in the description called the HAR file web scraper. This will parse out the network data saved in that HAR file. So this is totally legal since we're not reaccessing threads in this case. And you can see here the data is in a nice spreadsheet now. So I can see number of replies. Then all the way on the right is the actual text of the thread. There's some more metadata. So this may be useful if you wanna do some quick analysis on big influencers in your own niche. You can download this into a CSV file. You can also see the replies on the other tab like I showed you, access photos here and do a few other things. You may get more use out of this if you're actually logged into the web app on threads, they may show you more stuff. So let me know in the comments if that's the case. You can also use this HAR file web scraper on Instagram. It's more popular for getting comments and other pieces of data you may find useful. Thanks for watching and check out the link in the description to try for yourself.